Okay, I want to show you this quick tip for uh, fruit flies and gnats. If you have fruit flies and gnats in your kitchen um, in the summertime, I well actually all year long, I have lots of fruit and vegetables on my countertop. And the fruit flies, those gnats, just they get in everything. And you know, when you're trying to eat a salad, they're hovering over it, and you, one might dive in, and you might not ever see it again. Um, I can't handle that. Um, so. Uh, and I have a compost bucket in my kitchen down here, and when I'm uh, peeling stuff and whatever I'm making, anything that's compost, all goes in that compost bucket. So I have gnats in my kitchen, um, and not only just bananas sitting in my kitchen. So um, what I have found is this works wonders. And all it is is um, apple cider vinegar. I just buy it by the gallon, and I keep it in my pantry and uh, a couple drops of any kind of uh, dish soap. Um, so you take in your bowl, here's your bowl, and you put maybe a fourth of a cup, half a cup, it doesn't even matter. I just pour some in there um, about that far from the bottom, you know, filling up the bowl. Um, and then um, just your couple drops of dish soap, you put it in there, I stir it up a little bit, and then I just set it on my counter either, it just depends on where I want to put it that day, but um, last night, I had a lot of um, fruit fly and gnats in the kitchen, so I put it over here in back of me on my counter. Within an hour, I maybe had 50. And you can't see them. I'm going to try at the end to see if I can do a close-up to show you them floating around in here. And even as I was preparing to um, film this for you guys, they were landing on the bowl um, and on the... Uh, apple cider vinegar gallon container. It really, that smell attracts them, um, that vinegar smell. So it works great. Um, try it when those little pesky gnats are all over your kitchen. Um, this is a great alternative, um, especially if people are spraying and stuff. I never would use any kind of bug spray in my house or around my house um, because I don't like all that poison. I don't want to smell it. I think natural stuff is much better and this is very effective. If you were trying to spray them, I mean, you'd have to, I know some people, they might bug bomb their whole house, and then we have to live within all those chemicals um, in our house, and they're on everything, and you can't clean everything. So this way, it's perfect. I don't have to worry about all, any more chemicals. We're already invaded with many chemicals every day. Um, so anything natural I can try and find, I find really good ones. And the best thing is, if you're not going to remember, write it down and maybe keep a journal on all the little ideas you've gotten. So you have all these ideas. You can look them back or put them on your computer or save my YouTube video. Um, so that's it. I'll try to do a YouTube uh, little close-up, I'm sorry, so you can see what these look like floating around. Like you can really see them. You can't see them. Let me turn it a little bit, see if I can. There's a bunch right there. So you can see them all floating. And that was within an hour I got them all. So it was great. Thanks. I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.